All right, guys, what is up? Today, I'm going to be going over the blasters for a new series, Nerf Gun Games. And we're going to be going over the blasters. I don't know if I'm going to do them in order or not, but I will uh, show you guys the blasters for the thing. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. This is the either uh, the Nano Fire or the Stinger. I think I think this is the Nano Fire because I think it's a little bit newer. I love the blue on this blaster. Um, it just reacts with the orange so well. So, if, if you guys can't see, I just have a big tub full of, uh, ammo. So, we're gonna load this thing up. It does have dart storage, which we're probably gonna be using. Fire one. Reload. Fire two. And then, I don't know if we're gonna use all three or not, but I'm, yeah. Pretty good one. First one, not gonna be a jolt. I don't have a jolt on me at this moment. If I do get one, if, I don't know where my old one went, but if I do get one, I will be probably using that. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this one's gonna be the first blaster. Second, oh god. Second blaster. Going to be the reflex. I know it's kind of like the same exact thing, but I do like the prime on it. And no dart storage, but you can just take some out of your pocket. Reload it really easily because it's a front loaded blaster. So we're probably going to be the second one. Third one, let's think. Going to be the triad. Triad is a good, fun blaster. Unlike the jolt or the nano fire, any kind of jolt re uh, reskin, which is most pistol small pistols are usually jolt reskins. Prime with the T prime, one, two, and three. So you don't need to reload anything after three shots. You just need a prime in between. Pretty good blaster. And gonna be the third blaster on the list. Second blaster. Zombie strike double strike. Just it has a hammer prime, so you just prime down the hammer. Fire and fire. So pretty pretty sick. Uh at, um just a small little pistol. I will probably use a my little holster for it because it's, it kind of goes with the holster quite well. It's, it's a very tiny holster. It's, oh god. Well, it's a good uh, little holster. Um, you can size it any way that you want. You can fit a hammer shot in probably. I bet you could fit a hammer shot in but you just Do that, and then have your holster, wrap it around your leg, and then you have dart storage in there too. So I'm probably gonna take the up the holster in the game because that's gonna look pretty freaking sick. And yeah, good blaster. Next blaster, Nerf Mega Big Shock. Um, another jewelry skin does have dart storage in the top. There's a shell on this, and there's screws. You open up the screws, just a big jolt. So, fire once, reload it, and fire twice. I like the whistle sounds on the mega darts. That's pretty sick. It's easy to spin. Next one, Falcon Fire. Probably. Or maybe, okay, I'll do this one. Night Finder, very old Night Finder. I bought it. Well, I did it, but somebody did, and they did about it correct. <clears throat> so they kind of rewired it, almost like almost rewired it wrong. The batteries won't stay in place, and you can't have it halfway and do the light. So just for that.
I I think we actually have two of these, so somebody might be dual wielding these, because that would be pretty cool having two of them. I don't know where it is at the moment, but yeah. Now we are onto the Falcon Fire. Probably one of my least favorite blasters in this whole gun game. It is a breach blaster. It came with the AccuStrike line. So you just put a dart in and then fire, which is not my ideal. It doesn't have great performance, but it does have quite cool dart storage and kind of have to get it just right. So the performance isn't the best on it, but and I have a, I just don't like breach blasters because you do so much for one shot and it's just little ring sight and iron sights on it which is really cool but yeah probably next blaster the bigger blasters I set over here so I have to go get really quick. Another zombie strike, blaster, flip fury. Two six round drums when you um, finish this one, you can just flip it and then you can load it in from the bottom one because there's really no room to get the darts in here, so you have to do it on the bottom because of these little indents. Which is a pretty cool blaster. I really like this blaster. It does have swing points and a tactical rail. And it's just overall a good blaster. Alright. I don't know what which number this is gonna be in the thing, but I do want to use this cool little tiny well, actually quite big barrel attachment. Usually what you're supposed to do, put this into a barrel and then you have an emergency shot. shot which is not that great. Does not have that great of performance. I like to prime it like air power because I feel like it will kind of just umph the performance up just the tiniest bit. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like it does. So, I don't know what order that one is going to be in, but on to the next blaster. Alright, this is a good blaster. This is actually one of my favorite blasters in this whole Nerf gun. <laughs> the Surge Fire. 15 round drum internal Kind of internal external drum cannot be removed so just prime it you can fire so easy to reload you can just pop all the darts in because the drum is easy to spin so you can just throw in darts because it is obviously open you can so you can just spin it around I will probably be using slam fire on this because what you do for slam fire with some blasters, not all, some, mostly yeah, springer blasters, some springer blasters, you use slam fire, you just hold down this and then you can just keep uh, priming it and then it will just fire uh, at a faster rate, which is good. Don't know what order some of these will be in. On to the next blaster, which I am very excited about. It is a combo. Because there is one main reason, but this thing just looks so sick. It is a tri-strike and then some other modulus attachments, I think, from the regulator. Which I will be putting back on the regulator if we ever decide to put it in the whole Nerf gun game, which I probably will. I just put the regulator stock on it, uh, regulator scope plus barrel because it looks pretty cool, and then a old long shot scope. I don't know why I wanted the long shot scope, it just looks nicer on the thing. If it was color coordinated, but I do like the shape of it. So, this 
is going to be one of the blasters. And then this is the probably the main reason why. Is because I want... This comes with the tri strike as a part of it. Because there's three different ways you can fire. Mega darts, uh, regular elite darts, and a... Uh, uh, bazooka type thing. I just wanted to use this alone as a blaster, so just air power that thing right up. Easy. All you do is this is you, the stock of the blaster, and then you put put this in in as the stock of the blaster itself, and then you put this on the tactical rail, and then. You just... <laughs> that looks so stupid. But, I just wanted to use this alone as a regular blaster. So I'm probably going to get, like, triple kill on it as a group of people are fighting. So, that is going to be pretty cool on camera. Awesome. And, let's set this one aside. We will be using, like some type of snipers um next one is the scavenger with all the attachments on it which i do not have on there yet uh and where's the little pistol there's a little pistol that we will probably be using in the game um because that's gonna look pretty cool on camera to be like okay take the blaster off out it's usually easier to take off. You just take it off, and then I just shoot, and then I probably get the victory or die or something. And then the little Nerf scope sight thing. It's not really a scope. Let's go through my bucket of attachments. Here we are. The light that it comes with. Very dim, low quality. Actually, it's quite nice this setting but um <laughs> sorry for blinding you but just a little hasbro low quality light this is the whole thing together you can put a mag in here little pistol back here and i love the, the magazines that it comes with this one's like not even full but they look like this they have little decor on them they look so sick this thing also will have slim fire so you just Lever action it up on the back and you can fire. Um which is quite cool. It's a little bit getting used to with the prime all the way up here. I mean the back release all the way up there. Oh the little blaster will occasionally fall out, but for an emergency shot, it's pretty good. Um we will be using that because this is one of also one of my favorite blasters in the Nerf gun game. This one, awesome blaster. Next one, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what order. The Air Warrior Snipe, which is not a Nerf blaster. I'm like, in the film, I'm like, what? I thought this was Nerf. And then, um, and then I go on to probably snipe somebody. So it is a little bit different when you set it up. Push it forward because it is a bit different. And where's the barrel? The barrel's quite cool. I feel like sometimes the darts will get lost in the barrel. Um, just because the barrel is quite long, but it's not an actual barrel type thing. Um, it's quite wide. Which is, um, a little bit different. And sometimes the darts will get caught in it. And then, got the Air Warriors darts and the magazine. Unlike the other one, the Predator, where you have to breach load it. It is still a breach blaster, but it still will have to. Still comes with an 8 round mag. Which is quite cool. Nice, um, things. It looks really, really cool. The grip is nice. It's quite, quite good. It's kind of uncomfortable, but it could be worse. And there's a little...
thing up here. Being a bigger person playing with Nerf guns, I feel like I do not like a lot of the grips. Um, but this one's pretty good. That sounded like it just snapped, which I hope it didn't. And, yeah, it kind of looks cool like this, like some, without this, it kind of looks like some Space Blaster, which looks awesome. We will be adding a Rival Blaster, maybe one, let's go with the Helios. This is a really good one. Um, it is a spring-powered one. Just put the mag in there, and then you power the back, fire I don't really want to do that right now because it's still morning time. And yeah, quite a cool blaster. I think this is the um from the Phantom Corp, so obviously I am team blue. But I just put team red on there just for people and also just because I don't want to lose it because I am going to be doing other nerf stuff where people are on team red and team blue and having some massive cool fight movie. So, yeah, awesome, and probably gonna be one of the last, um, one of the last ones, this is gonna be the last one, before a melee, and I do not know where my axe, or my zombie strike axe, so I'm probably gonna go buy a new one, um, either today, or, uh, some other day, cause I do have a bunch of gift cards from Christmas and stuff, so I will be going out and doing that. Take a so let's go to a different one. Yeah, this smaller six round mag. The regulator is an awesome blaster. And this is the stock for it. With a magazine and storage in it. And put that as a barrel and then the other thing. Use as a scope thing. And this is the whole thing that it looks like. I think this, is, yeah, this is all it comes with. Comes with 12, two 12 round mags. A mag can go in here. And there's select fire, so either single, triple burst, or uh, uh, rapid. Full auto, I'm sorry, I forgot. Let's just go full auto all the way. And then there is a red light flashing that you are out of ammo, which- Oh wait, this is not all of it together, I'm sorry. I knew I was missing something, there's this like a handle thingy as well. I cannot believe I forgot about that. This is what the whole thing looks like. And you can go, like, on the waist having it at your waist or you can just have it like this or like this cool little design and stuff and then we got we're gonna buy a melee we melee weapon uh i want a marauder sword but uh, i haven't really found any for sale like on ebay or anything so i'm gonna go check that out in a couple minutes so, moving this out of the way, and that, those are the blasters for Nerf Gum Game 1.0, uh, if you guys will enjoy the series, I'll keep it up going for two, and then more, which is gonna be so sick, but yeah, this is gonna be so cool looking at it in first person, editing it, I'm gonna be laughing, because... I have, yeah, just people. People, I'm going to be doing that with a bunch of friends of mine. It's just so much fun to go out and nerf because they're foam darts. They won't hurt. Uh, just be careful. And you can just do so much with your friends. You can, yeah, you can get close to your friends. You can make new friends. Like, go out to a field or go into your house and have, like, a whole nerf blaster game. I used to do this a lot with people we would have two lives running around with a primary a uh, pistol and sometimes a shotgun but we would have two lives running around 
with one primary and then one pistol. Um, usually from the same series. If not, it would it would just be random. But yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video going over all the blasters for the Nerf Gun Game 1.0 coming out soon. Hopefully, hopefully pretty soon. Um. So yeah. We just gotta get people on a good date where they could do this with us. And yeah, <laughs> go out and nerf. It's, it's great. So, I don't know how many blasters I covered in this whole entire thing, but we are gonna have a lot, a lot of blasters and, and hopefully a lot of time to do this. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.